Okay. So why are you throwing away all your gear? Because I was about to die, so... Two levels, all non-permanent skills. Nine money, stats. Okay. This is fine. So you're wondering why I threw away all my gear? I didn't. I didn't throw away all my gear. I just left it for later. Yeah, this way I don't squander a bunch of healing potions. Okay, so I really want the exterminator, but I gotta have 13 dexterity. Really should tell me what my base dexterity was without this thing, but... Oh, it's 12. Okay, well it's really easy. Okay, we don't need the legs. We might want to make some executive decisions on what to bring with us. Hell, I'm not even sure if I want to bother with crafting for a while. We might want to just start selling our components, considering I'm getting better stuff just by existing. I think eventually crafting is going to be worth it, but for now, not so much so. Let's see, you didn't know about the shoot. The shoot is amazing. Because now I get to carry all of my gear with me. And go on like an absolute burning rampage. See an enemy here. Let's see. There we go. Because, yeah, the longer I can keep this kill streak going, the more EXP I'm going to be able to accrue. Okay, I'm probably going to lose it here, but that's fine. I'm going to get this quest. Three enemies die in a single explosion. Well, luckily, because I've got the, uh, the head thing going, that shouldn't be too hard. Got him. Okay, got the key, got that. I think everything else here is trash. There we go. Goodbye, loot slime. I don't think any of this is gonna help me. We wanna hoard some healing items here. If I can manage it. That's a good level up. Okay, grab potions. But not really, because I want to keep this streak going. Interesting. Didn't know you could break that. Okay. So we have a button for a secret area I should go press. So I guess let's go do that. Oh. Didn't realize I must have run ran straight past that one. Is there a story to this or is it just pure straight uh, dungeon runny good goodness? There's a very light story that more or less is telling uh, told in retrospect about how you got here. And that's about it. Oh, I did get a skill point here. Okay, cool. So what is this up to? 70 damage. Neat. We wanted to put a point into Artisan, so I can start leveling that up. Alright. Leveling that up, and... Grabbing whatever I can. If there's anything useful here. Because this just takes me to the exit. Alright, I got stat points. 
Hello Exterminator. I wonder if I can level this up. During the green... Great... Sp oh, wait, no, that's lore. Every melee hit conjures a wall of flame engulfing enemies in arc in front of you. Ha 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 ha, that's great. Also, fiery shots, that's for magic. Why did I do that, you may ask? I don't know. That said, doesn't really change too much. I'm curious about the liquid stuff. That we keep finding. I haven't used, utilized any of it yet, so it's kind of interesting. Eat that, everything else is good. Okay, there's a button in here. There we go. Let's go check out the secret. And yeah, I think I'm just going to start getting rid of most of my basic... ...crafting components. As I don't necessarily need them right now. Remove that. Okay. Uh, let's see. If it's something really high quality, I'll save it, but I, I think just trying to craft for crafting's sake is not actually worth my inventory space. Is this VR? I don't think so. There are a couple of VR games that are possibly like this. I know that there's Until You Fall, which I talked about. There's also VR Dungeon Knight, which I know looked pretty neat. Okay. Grab some of that stuff. Spider. Slime. Exit. Thank you. Okay. Sweet du double kill. And unfortunately, this is where my streak ends. But that's okay. There's a door there now. Okay, yeah, Wonder, do you play VR games? I do occasionally. The big issue is streaming VR games is actually really hard. Because uh, for whatever reason, my frame rate is like particularly atrocious when I'm trying to stream them. So I don't really, I don't really play games when I'm not streaming. And I doubly don't play, uh, okay, no wand equips. Do I have a wand? Nah, I haven't bothered with him. Uh, I don't set up the VR often because it requires me to retool my office every single time I do it, which is just kind of inconvenient. Uh, so I'd like to play it more, but to some degree, I, the VR is going to be one of those things that I really invest time and energy into uh, after I move. Uh, not that I'm really planning on moving anytime soon, uh, especially, you know, with the current state of the world. But... Uh, let's see. But after after I do, I'm probably going to go. I'm not going to say crazy, but I'm I'm going to try and have like a big workspace that I can specifically utilize as kind of my own, uh, and have like a big VR setup in there. That way I can. Let's see. Sorry, mildly focused on sprinting here. I think we're gonna keep my kill streak. Nah, just missed it. Okay, here's the question. Damn 
I'm just gonna have to wait for these guys here. This is too chippy for what's happening. Yeah, but at the same time, it's kind of, it's pleasant. But yeah, this is, this is not the game soundtrack. This is just me listening to my own thing. Let's see. I appreciate that random levels give gives me random perks. Not very often, but it does. Okay, we got anything else? I don't think so. That's about as good of a kill streak as I'm going to be able to roll on this level. Still not bad. All things considered. Okay. Would it be cheaper and easier to come up with competing light source than invent VR to get rid of the lamps? What? I'm confused about this this question. My, my big issue with VR is I just don't have space in my office. Okay. So let's int... Oh, item pricing of the vendor. Crit and armor effectiveness. I'm just going to keep investing in int for the time being. Do I have? No, I don't have a skill point. Damn. We had a skill point previously. Previous level. That's fine. Never kill these guys. Guess not. Watch me just not give a shit about properly playing this game anymore. <laughs> My stats are becoming absurd. There's going to be a point where we have to... rein it in a little bit, though. Okay. Hey, here's the merchant. Okay. So I'm gonna... Souls for 15, that's fine. I think I'm going to sell all of these components. I love the idea of crafting, and... Ooh. Ooh. I love the idea of crafting, but I think not right now. Once we have better equipment. And better components. And are getting to further levels. But I'm squandering a lot of inventory space just to have... The occasional cool something. What does he have to sell? That's a question. Well, he's got a healing elixir. I'll buy those. I'm trying to hoard them as best as possible. But I think the rest of this stuff is trash. Right, let's go get that. Let's go get that key. Okay, here we go. I'm very glad the higher level I go, the better healing potions we start to accrue. That's a nice change of pace. Oh. It took, it took off my stuff. That's fine. Is there anything else here? Like, I can grab some of these things, but I... I'm just going to want to head for the exit. I'll just sell on that on the next floor. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't see anything here. Off we go. Yeah, this is not the in-game music. This is me listening to my own thing. It actually says on the bottom what I'm listening to. This is not the best placement for it. Let me let me move that around. No, nope, that's the sensor. No, nope, that's that. If it wasn't super distracting or took up a whole bunch of space, uh, I would actually put like a visualizer or like a now playing kind of thing. But eh, I don't want to do that. 
That sounds like effort. Okay, we want to go here. There we go. And up we go. Oh, we're only on floor three. Or floor two? Well, that barely does damage to me. I'll take it. And I still do enough damage to just mow through most of these guys. So I guess we've got floor three on farm now. Which means we can get to the spider boss without any issues. Don't think I'm going to be able to kill streak particularly well here, but I'll do what I can. So I think whatever the boss drops, I'm probably going to want to consider keeping, but mostly... Well, okay. I guess at, the, at this point, we'll probably have enough... We'll probably have enough rad boss drops that I can, uh, I can feasibly chuck some of it in the bank and then keep rolling with what I got. Holy shit, investing into intelligence cannot be denied in terms of general usefulness. Okay, nah. Can't continue the streak. Let's just turn this off if I can. Uh, is it here? Hell yeah. Game kind of reminds me of that wasted roguelike from a while back. Supposedly it got finished. Total news to me, but... Maybe I'll go back to that someday just to be like, Hey, I said I'd go back when it's 1.0, and now it is. Okay, anything here? Ammo? Yeah. It might be worth investing a bunch of points into... Okay, do we have... Yes, we do have a safe box. I'll be back later. Okay, because yeah, I'd rather farm EXP for a moment. Because I can still one-shot these guys. Ah, my streak is gone. If that's the exit up. That's not what I'm here for. Okay, there we go. I am unstoppable. You cannot... You truly cannot stop me. I'm ridiculous. Okay, what do we got over here? More goon? More goon. At least one goon. Okay, do we have more goon? Okay, we end up with handful of more goon. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get much of a... Actually, no, I am. Not fast enough. I wonder if there's a movement speed upgrade. Because that'd go a long way here. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, did I get any... I didn't get too much. I did get this. So, can I... I cannot put points into exterminate. But that's fine. So I like Spectral Blades.
Because I've already got these two. That's only for axes. I'm going to perma-learn Spectral Blades, because if I can get that up to 100%, that'll be really good for just chewing through groups. Okay, so let's let's scoot back. I don't really remember there being any loot that I had to go for. I guess if I want to go for potions, though. That's, that's the real thing. Anyway, I'm just going to keep investing mad points into intelligence, at least for now. Uh, let's see. Wonder where any 90s cartoon vill villain he's... Be the villain behind the hammy villain. Like the guy who sends the first bad guy equipment from Homeworld, he already raffle stomps. Huh. I don't know if this is referenced or if I just misread that. Wasn't there a, uh, a Sonic the Hedgehog game where Robotnik was sending, like, alternate reality versions of himself? Uh,. In, like, a mad attempt to win, finally. I feel like I'd be that. I don't know. I... I like write, writing books on my off time when I have the time for it. And I very much would love to write a, a book at some point about, like... A book or a couple of books about different bad guy archetypes. And it kind of is like a what if, like... What if this bad guy ar archetype didn't suck? You know, what if Robotnik wasn't stupid? Or at least was moderately more functional. Because I like to think about that sometimes. Like, yeah, what if, what if Robotnik actually, you know, was leveraging his robot army properly? What would change about the Sonic games? And the answer is, I mean, Sonic just would get stomped. Hey, where can I buy your books? I haven't actually released any of my books for sale yet. Someday I will, but it largely depends on, like, if I'm ever actually good enough that I feel confident that I can put stuff up. Okay, had to step away for a while. What are you playing for the rest of the night? I'm going to play this now. Uh, let's see. I might do some Hyrule Warriors. I got to I got to decide on that one. There we go. Because I've certainly been enjoying playing Hyrule Warriors. Uh, the question is, how long do I want to go? Because I've just been tired. I, I, I've i definitely said this, but like, I usually take two vacations a year. Uh, generally about a week long, sometimes maybe a little, little bit longer. And... You know, I haven't really had the luxury of, of doing a vacation this year because, like, where do I go? Did that guy just walk through a wall? He did. But yeah, I haven't, haven't had the luxury of taking any time off. Uh, really this fall. And so I think I, I think it's really, like, truly been getting to me. And maybe it's just kind of life and everything that's been going on since. Uh, let's see, but I'm just... I'm just super zonked all the time. And so it's like, do I really want to stream for, like, another three, five, six, whatever hours? I mean, truly, it's not going to be that long. Uh, you know, I have to do stuff within some reason. Ow. Uh, it's... The other thing is I've been playing games in my off time with Shell uh, just for funsies, so that's actually been quite nice. I love the fact that it says face every time you hit them in the face. Like, that, that is real satisfying. Oh. There we go. The level up. I'm just going to keep... Pummeling it into intelligence. One of your favorite movies is Megamind for a reason. Megamind is fantastic. It is by and far one of my favorite movies. I'm not big on Will Ferrell. I find him to be quite grating. But he was great in Megamind. So 
whole route is a giant dead end. Well, I guess it makes it convenient. Makes you feel any better having had a vacation in 20 years. That doesn't make me feel better. People need more vacations. Like, it's legitimately good for your mental health. And, you know, it goes a long way to making you a happier and more productive person, you know, once you're back. Oh. I'm rewarded for my sacrifice. What did that get me? Ah. Got me a component. Wonder what else that can be used for. Uh, let's see. I don't really like rating people on productivity necessarily. Productivity is a spook abolish work. I mean, I think... I think people need things to do. Uh, that I don't think our society could ever truly exist without people having work. But I'm definitely in favor of, like, removing work just for the sake of work. Because that never really seems like it's worth it anyway. Like, I definitely... I've definitely been there for cert... Eh, I guess I, I've never had a job that was specifically just, like, Bi pure busy work for the sake of appearances or just like keeping somebody engaged but like you definitely can give people jobs based on their actual strengths as opposed to like data entry specialist or I don't know I mean I could talk about this for a while but I see a lot of people that are brilliant you know skilled people that could do anything but because the job for them doesn't exist. Uh, or, you know, somebody else has already took it. Then they're just kind of screwed. And it sucks. Especially because, like, we don't need that many people to be working anymore. The main reason why we do is purely just because capitalism needs to be fed. And Bezos needs to make more money. I decided I'm taking some time for myself a little later this year. Is worth it. If you can manage it. Alright, let's just sell some stuff, get some extra cash. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that axe! Ghostly broad axe of the light. Charged weapon. Oh. That looks like a bad. By the helmet. Uh, let's see. I'll sell those by the ring. Because I think I... I think I'm fine. Okay, let's send these down. I, I don't have anything else to send down, but that's okay. I'm in a good spot. Hello, speed man. Spurter. Okay. Wonder if you can get ow. How'd that hit me? Okay, where are those where are the megs? There we go. Time to watch a spider delete itself on its own babby juice. Well, I said it would happen, and it did. Okay. Big old knife of the distinguished gentleman. Flame walk. I haven't seen that one before. Desperate rage. Yeah, these are better. We're probably going to want to send some of, the, some of these down. Possibly all of these down? This bomber person. Grenade splash radius increased. Nah, it's okay. What about... 
What about Desperate Rage? When your HP is below X, your melee increases increased by up to... Okay. That's fine. Ah. Range speed, range knockback. Both of these are for range speed and range knockback. I think my current shoulders are slightly better. Mainly for the fiery blows. We'll probably send the big old knife of the distinguished gentleman down. Hey, can I not go back? I really wish I could. Nope. Man, my maximum HP is, uh, high. How am I making things worse? She saw you, Bendrix said, rising from the woman he just slain. So you kill them both? Do you know what this means? No one else knows. Anybody could have done this. Nobody cares about no anybody but us in here. Your brother sighed. Well, help me with the mess first. We'll figure this out later. You wrap the bodies in bed sheets and stash them in the armoire. The blood stains covered by the rug. The scene looked as pristine as it did before. The next day, Rick Helm held a banquet to ease into the talks with the Amazons. The king sat at the head of the table. To his right sat you, your brother, and the lords. The opposite side of the table is lined with ten Amazons and two empty chairs. The king rose to welcome his guests. He inhaled deeply and was prominently interrupted. We seem to be two guests short, your grace, the highest ranking Amazon interjected. I suggest we wait. Rickholm took another breath. Very well. He turned to you, raised an eyebrow, and whispered, You boys don't happen to know anything about this, do you? I wonder if we... Took the fall for the brother. Okay. Interestingly enough, these guys don't actually give any more or less EXP. But I think this game has a very very level learning curve. Okay. I still haven't found any more of those treasure mappy things. I haven't been looking that hard, though. Okay, let's not do that. I can save here. Okay, here we go. On the plus side, my lifesteal is actually really good. I... I wish I wasn't spending all of my skill points purely on just... Uh, let's see. Wish I wasn't spending all of my skill points purely on unlocking new skills, because I'd really like to actually put some of my effort, some of my skill points into scaling up what I already have. Wander is a face hunter. I am. Okay, this ain't gonna work. Oh yeah, grenades. Okay. Still no shoot. Well, shoot. Wait, did that just kill one of them? Say I'm disappointed. Okay, we got a map fragment. Okay, shoot is very far away. Oh, my God. 
Okay. I got really lucky there. That could have been death. Man, screw this room. With like seven rusty spoons. Okay. Instead of taking meaningless damage from that one. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go through here. How's Boner doing? Boner's having a day. Okay. It seems like my best immediate interest is door cheese. Everything else is risky. Ow. Also, it looks like the wand I just picked up is trash. Got it. Okay. So we're looking for the power box here. Not seeing it. Okay. One of four. That's interesting. I haven't seen that before. Is that actually a lever over there? What that did. Still don't see a power box for this. There might not be one. I don't have any ranged attacks to actually deal with them. Okay, we got a dude there. Here's the shoot. I hate these. So I got one of them. This is probably safe. I love the fact that my equipment actually shows on my body. That you really don't get to see a whole lot of me, but you get to see my arm. I guess it makes it easy. Still not sure what face means. It means headshot. Whenever I hit him in the face, it says face. Which I think is kind of neat. Dangerous sort of joy. Okay. It was taking a lot of damage from the spikes there. I don't I don't see any boxes that would turn off the traps. Ooh. 
That's some ouch. Oh, that turns them off. Okay, unfortunately, that... That spit fly... Doesn't get me too much. Also, he sucks. I probably should have just fought, fought him through the door. Holy shit. This is awkward. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna have to go back here and then up. Oh, oh boy, howdy. This is not necessarily what I want from a room. I pressed the sprint button, and then I tried jumping. I guess they don't really believe in coyote jumps. Okay. Okay, got it. Looks like this is going to be easier. I wonder if I'm going to have to worry about falling damage here. At least the pattern is, like, virtually the same. And, oddly enough, very light mantling. Oh, no fall damage. Hey. Okay. Okay, so... Squandered a lot of HP on those spikes. Sucks. Right. I don't get to do stuff with that. Okay, it's fine. All we have left is this schmuck. Let's open more from the secret room. Inventory is full. Okay, so here's the question. How much damage does this longsword do? Artisan repose? Yeah, it's okay. Alright. Shoots over here. At the very least, I think I'm gonna risk it. Let's send a couple of these things on. Namely, I'm just gonna send that. My thoughts are, this way, even if I die with this rad-ass hammer that I'm rolling with, well, do we... Is there much of a benefit, or do I keep going? Because my options are, go die, start over, do some more runs. Because I'll level faster if I die. I might get better loot here. 
I do have 17 health potions. Like, that can't be denied. Let's... Yeah, the problem is, with one more, one more level, if I die, I lose this rad-ass... hammer. Uh, and we can't get it back. Oh, you know what I can do, though? Real quickly. Let's just save here. That way, if I get to the next floor and just start getting pummeled, and we can't find the chute, then we just peace, uh, reload, and leave. That really actually doesn't do nearly as much damage as I thought it would. After an hour of waiting, the diplomatic talks were postponed until first light the next morning. The Amazons retired to their chambers. A somber indifference on their faces is masking concern. It's going to be harder than I thought, the king sighed. You should just kill them and be done with it. Send their queen back. Send their queen back their heads, Bindrick growled. Rickhelm's frown grew deeper. War is the way of our fathers. There is no need for bloodshed this time. Bindrick's jaw tightened. They have no claim to our lands, he said. Talk is for the weak. You did not sleep that night. Instead, you paced the royal gallery until the morning sun crept through the columns, marking the continuation of the parlay. Lords and Amazons had already taken their seats in the dining hall. You sat beside King Rickhelm as he spoke. I see our two missing guest guests yet keep us waiting. In the meanwhile, I invite you to feast on the finest delicacies of the realm. The doors behind him open, revealing a line of servants carrying plates of assorted fruits and pastries. The waiters placed the food on the table. Two of the plates were covered with gilded domes. With the domes lifted, the Amazons grew eyes grew wide. Before them lay the heads of their two slain compatriots. 